Greetings, Exile. Um, so this is going to be a short little um, uh, guide on how to um, use Neversing's uh, loot filter that he released and customize it a bit so it does um, highlight uh, items that might be uh, desirable for you. So for instance, uh, when I take uh, one of these evasion rating uh, dexterity bases and drop it on the floor, um, I can make it so that it's like highlighted with this uh, light effect that it plays a sound, you know, border, customize, etc. <coughs> now, um, this is going to be very basic, so uh, don't expect too much, but I think it's going to be very helpful to uh, keep track of loot that is actually useful for you. Um, so if you want to have like specific um, stats on your items, um, and on your weapons, etc. Um, having the right bases is very important. So without further ado, let's uh, get started. First of all, you're going to need um, the, the item filter, which I'm going to be linking. Uh, make sure to download the, the most up-to-date one. Just go to releases. I mean, actually added some, um, some things recently, which I don't have. <coughs> so if your uh, base version of the filter looks a little bit different, um, that is going to be the reason why. Um, just install it as described. Basically, you have to uh, do is add a file into your uh, little explorer here. And this is going to be the, the file that you get. And then what I did, I just copied that file and renamed it into uh, Light Filter Monk, right? And then you go to your options and then you can um, after you edit it I, I'm not sure if it uh, will recognize it immediately you might have to restart the game um, but once uh, they are there you can just select your filter from here and then it will do stuff like I don't know if you drop in exalt it will uh, play sounds highlight it etc etc so how are we going to customize it so basically all these filters are is just a big text file so if you take a text editor like um visual studio code which i use you can uh, add stuff at the bottom so that's what i did here's basically where the, the filter from the Vastic ended as i said this is an older version so here yeah, this might look different and then all you need to do is add these show blocks so uh, let's go over these, what they mean. Now, I'm by no means an expert when it comes to loot fitters. Actually, I'm very new to this. And this is just what I've um, you know, uh, come up with by testing around a bit. So uh, your results might vary, but uh, this basically works. So you first it says show, then you need to define either a class or a base type. Um, I'm not actually sure uh, what the difference is. Um, I think that, that classes are a little bit more general and base types you can actually go to the actual base item type, um, as you can see here. And then you can set like the font size, which is how big the text is displayed. Then you can set colors for uh, text and border. Now this is uh, an RGB value. Uh, so if we go to like, um, say Google RGB color picker, something like that. And then we pick like a color from here. And these three values are what you uh, need to copy. So let me copy this. Uh, and then these are the three numbers that you're going to uh, need to change your color. You can actually add a fourth number which defines the transparency. So this goes from 0 to 255. And um, when the 0 is transparent and 255 is fully visible. So um, yeah, then we can play an effect. Um, this is basically the, um, the, the, the light rate that you've shown. If we pr uh, say something here that the game doesn't recognize, and we go to... Um, options reload and it actually says here which one you can use right so let's say for some reason i want them to be a different color so i can now go and say my quarter stuffs are going to be green 
Reload it. And for some reason, this doesn't work anymore. Well, that's fun. <laughs> um, not sure uh, why that is. Did I reload? Does this work? This works. Okay, so my quarter stuff uh, loot filter is bricked a bit. So let's uh, actually try it here. Got my other filter for my items, uh, my armor. Yes. I mean. Okay, now you can see we have this uh, green laser ray. Um. Yeah, sorry, I'm a little bit uh, confused by this stuff. I need to check that out. Um, however, let's let's continue on. You can uh, add a minimap icon. So let's see if we. Uh, drop this we should see a little circle on the map we can define which color it is uh, again we can make this green for instance i'm not sure what this number means i haven't figured that much out uh reason please select from zero one to oh size okay so there's uh different sizes i guess so this is zero what does zero mean it's the biggest okay and then basically two is probably going to be the smallest uh, as you can see, I'm still learning this stuff uh, as well. So, yeah, there's different sizes. Not sure what these numbers mean, but yeah, you can um, select those. And you can also say which color they that you want. And then, uh, last but not least, we're going to play a sound. So y you can uh, define the sound through these numbers. So if we, let's say, change this to 2... It now plays the, this sound. If we go to three and reload, it plays this sound. Now if we go back to our original sound, this is the one I chose. And then you can define the volume, I believe. Yeah, that's the volume. Um, I've turned that down a bit, so. Yeah, that's, that's how you can basically customize it. Now, of course, this is not going to uh, hide other bases and stuff. Basically, all this does is highlight the, uh, the items that you want, um, if it works. I'm not sure why this doesn't. Oh, it's because of the... Ah, I know. It's because of the socket. Yeah, the socket uh, has different rules. Um, that, that's another thing, like the, the order in which these um, uh, find stuff um, actually matters, I think. Again, not an expert. Now, let's say you want to find a good item bases for your character. Now, as you can see, I've already set up uh, this little um, loot filter for, um, that's like, um, Dex, R, more Evasion. So let's say I want to find uh, item bases that are like uh, Dex and Strength. Evasion armor, something like that. So what I want to do is I'm going to copy all of this, and then I need to find out what actually um, to look for, which items to look for. Now this is where you go to the Path of Exile uh, two wiki poe two wiki dot net, and then you can go to um, to the top here now let's say i want to find strength and dexterity items which are these four this is body armor by the way um i'm going to show you how to find the rest uh, in a second um and then i'm just going to copy this so this is going to be a little bit messy but uh, bear with me just going to copy this into the text editor then i'm going to Remove all these lines that I don't need. And then I'm going to uh, do a little bit of uh, editing magic here in the code editor. So in VS Code, um, I'm not sure if this is like a default key binding, but I, it might be. If you hit Control, Alt, and arrow key down, you can actually move your carrot down. And then if I add like a quote here, then I press End. Um, and then I add a quote here, and then I press delete, and then I press space. Now I basically have this this string. Now, um, what this means is basically 
uh, this is the list of our of our base types right so I'm just going to copy it here and then behind this base types equals equals uh, you can add those and then you can add uh, the other item uh, types as well which I'm going to do uh, just in a second now there is a different way to do this you can actually do something like this um, where you would just add mail and then you don't do the equals equals now this is going to look for the word mail inside the base type um, the problem is um, if you look at, at the base types for the uh, dex armor you can see that all of these end on desk and code right so you would assume that like a filter like I don't know base type uh, vest and code would work. Now the problem is that this doesn't um, um, and you can actually add like a space before this so this is like space code right and just as it is in the text. Now the problem is that you can't um, define that this should only be like at the end of a uh, of a base type name so for example if you find a vestment which is a base type uh, in the game um, this will also uh, find that so yeah that's that's not going to be uh, great so that's why I use this kind of uh, con condition checking right so it actually looks for the the real deal now there's something to be said uh, for um, act I believe act 4 and onwards because they have the same uh, base types and just call them expert I believe it's like expert Chainmail. So uh, when you reach uh, the later stages of the game, you might need to add those. But that's just uh, a simple copy pasta. Shouldn't be too hard. So let's go and add the the other items. So we are in the in the body armor uh, section. Now we can go. Let's see. There is a page. This one, the equipment page. So. Let's go to helmets, for instance. And now we want to get our strength dexterity helmets, right? And then we're going to copy those. Copy those. Uh, paste those in here, just like we did before. By the way, shift delete removes the whole uh, line in VS Code, in case you didn't know. Do the little bit of uh, code editing magic. Finally, uh, I can make use of my programming programming skills. Go back. Um, we did helmets, right? We should do this in order. So it's a little bit easier. Strength, dexterity, boots. Um, luckily, as you can see, there's not that many bases. So it's going to take you only a, a, a few minutes to get those rolling. Also, don't forget to remove this line. So we have boots, we have helmets. Let's go to gloves and go to strings. And that's going to be the last one. So we have burnished gauntlets, plate gauntlets. We're going to do this and add those to our new filter rule. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, change it so it looks a little bit different. Um, let's see. Maybe I do... Uh, I want to do cyan for both. Like this. But maybe I want to do this a little bit smaller. Right something like that so now we save the file go to to our options as you can see this still works now unfortunately I don't really have oh this 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 should work right oh well, that didn't work that's that's a problem braced sabatons they should be in this list right if I didn't fuck that up. Male sabatons. Yeah, I totally fucked that up. So we get any braced sabatons. And this is where just, um, you know, uh, having like sabatons 
in this hood that would be cool but yeah now we have this little um braced sabatons compared to our uh, somewhat bigger uh, shrouded vest now this is to um you know signify okay this is a a hybrid um item base um which might be interesting but maybe not as much as our pure evasion based uh, item based so yeah that's basically uh, how you can add these highlights for items that you might be um, interested in um, for me it's I think it's very important to, to speed up the gameplay because there's a lot of stuff that you might not want to pick up at a certain point in the game so yeah there's also the, the possibility of course to hide stuff but I haven't figured out how that works to be honest so yeah I hope this uh, is somewhat useful to you. I, as I mentioned, I'm no expert in this. I've just picked this up myself recently after NeverSync uh, up, uh, uploaded his new um, new new loot filter. Um, you can find the links to all that stuff in the description below. Um, uh, let me know if you have any questions, ideas, suggestions. If you know stuff that I don't know, that might be uh, useful. Um, all that stuff. Um, have fun grinding, guys. Uh, don't die as much as I do, and I really mean it. Look at this. Holy shit. In Act 2. Man, I'm so bad at this game. But it's still kind of fun, so, yeah. <laughs> gotta gotta roll, th roll with the punches, right? Alright, have a good one.